Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about the health benefits of chocolate, believe it or not. Yes, I said chocolate. Well, really, I'm breaking it down to, to the cacao. So going back to the raw, pure form of the chocolate, but I'll also be talking about the many ways you can incorporate it into your life in a more healthy way. So before I get into that list of health benefits, let's go back to something. I remember seeing an article years ago, I think it was my late teens or early 20s. I was always reading a lot of health magazines and stuff like that. And I remember coming across an article about everything that is at some point considered bad for you, at another point comes back around to be good for you again. And sure enough, a few years later, chocolate became a health food. And some of you might be surprised to hear that still, even though it's been a long time. It's not about the chocolate or the cacao or cocoa itself. It's about the type you're consuming, how much of it, and the form that you're consuming it in. So that those are the things that really matter. Now, let me also clear up some confusion people may have. The only difference between cacao and cocoa is that cacao is still in its raw form. So if you buy cacao powder, there's no need for it to say, like I've got here, uh, sometimes you might get a bag of cacao and it will say raw cacao. Well, that's really redundant because just by this spelling and pronunciation alone, that already means it's raw. Once it's labeled as cocoa powder, that means it's been cooked in some form and is no longer raw. So if you can get cacao over cocoa, that's going to be important. And I also su suggest looking at where and how it's sourced and making sure it's organic. So as you can see here, I have, this is a three pound bag of cacao powder. And I have lots of bags of these. I stock up on it. I get my cacao powder and the cacao butter, same brand, through Amazon through the subscribe and save program and I get the best price on it that way. Now I know not everybody is Amazon buyers and I recommend, I haven't looked to see what Vitacost has. Vitacost, though I love that place, doesn't carry a lot of stuff in bulk and I like to buy these in bulk because I can get the best price. One of the things about cacao that is just so great is that it is rich in polyphenols, which is an antioxidant and it is higher in antioxidants by 40% than even blueberries. And blueberries are one of those that are at the top of the list. Which, if you're unfamiliar with what that means, anything that is rich in antioxidant means that it is good at fighting and or preventing cancer. So it's really good to get a diet that is rich in antioxidants in the form of whole foods such as cacao, blueberries, blackberries. So some of the things it can help with health-wise would be with inflammation. It can help lower a chronically high blood pressure, but remember, chronically high blood pressure is not a disease. It's a sign of something else going on in your life, whether it be internal or external stress, or even something you're consuming, such as prescription or over-the-counter medications, can cause stress that can then uh, elevate your high blood pressure. So it's not just about lowering your blood pressure. It's about finding what's causing it, the body to react that way. So it also improves your cholesterol levels. It lowers the risk of heart attack and stroke by helping to increase blood flow and elasticity of the blood vessels and especially increases blood flow to the brain, which means, of course, it's also going to help with your brain activity. It also helps promote healthy digestion. It helps to alleviate stress, which that would go in line with the uh, helping to lower the high blood pressure. So if it's helping to alleviate the stress or counteract whatever stress you've got going on, that in turn is going to help lower your blood pressure. It also is a mood elevator, as I'm sure a lot of you know, which is one of the reasons why it's also helpful for ladies with PMS. Uh, not, and that's why ladies who are in that time tend to crave chocolate more because it's natural. It helps to lift the mood and calm the nerves and just makes you feel better all the way around. And here's a couple of things that may really surprise you. It may actually help with symptoms of type 2 diabetes and 
promote weight loss, again, in the proper form. It can help with asthma, stimulates the immune system, and is anti-aging. I mean, wow, who knew? A couple of the nutrients that cacao is high in is magnesium and calcium. So a lot of you should know by now, if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, that not only is it important to get your calcium and magnesium from food sources rather than supplementation, but to also make sure you're getting them together. So supplementation does have its place with there. Sometimes it's really necessary. If you have to supplement, you need to make sure that you're taking them together. Uh, calcium on its own, not only is not gonna be as helpful, but can cause other issues when taken in high doses by itself. So you need to take it with magnesium. Let's go back one more time to the source. So you wanna make sure that you're when you're stocking up on cacao of any kind, that it's not only in its raw form, but as organic and healthy source as you can get it. And I recommend then learning how to make your own chocolates rather than buying them. But if you do have to buy chocolate, like I do buy chocolate chips and stock up on them. And I did a video on this. These are actually from 2014. They're still good. In the past couple of years, they've started to kind of lighten up in color. But here's a picture showing side by side some ones that I stocked up on this last year and then vacuum sealed in jars like I did with these and the ones that I have now. These are from 2014, so you can see a difference in color, but these are still great in cookies. You can see here I'm showing three different forms of cacao. So I've got cacao powder, I've got cacao butter, and just know that the cacao butter by itself isn't going to be as rich in the antioxidants because that's usually found in the whatever it is that's making the color you know those antioxidants are always associated with color but that doesn't mean that a good raw cacao butter is not loaded with lots of great health benefits on its own and then of course you've got your cacao nibs that are totally unsweetened and these are great they're just you can just munch on them like a snack. So let's talk about a couple other ways you can use the cacao nibs. Now, some people prefer to buy the cacao nibs and then powder these up into a powder themselves. Now you can use cacao nibs in place of things like chocolate chips for adding to pancakes and cookies and so on. You just have to keep in mind, again, that these are unsweetened. And some people might not care for that more dark chocolate taste because there's no sugar or anything added to it. It's just pure cacao. That's all it is. But I have added it to yogurts and ice creams and, you know, as a topping. The other thing I've used the cacao nibs for is to make a chocolate extract. So a homemade chocolate extract. I have a video on this. Now that video I'll link to down below is my old video. I actually do things differently now. There's different ways that you can make your extracts and have them be alcohol free and even glycerin free. So you can do just a honey water and cacao nibs to make an extract. You can use vodka, you can use rum, you can use homemade wine. Typically when I make any kind of extract I'm going with nowadays, I'm doing a combination of my homemade wine with the honey. So it's not super sweet, but both can work really well at extracting the flavor and the benefits from whatever it is you're trying to extract. Oh yes, and you can even sprinkle some cacao nibs on your cereal if you want in the morning, whether it be oatmeal or cold cereal. Again, there's no sugar added, so this is a healthy way to get that cacao in there without having to worry about the sugar. For those people who are keto, um, I actually like the taste of cacao butter that hasn't been deodorized all by itself. It has a nice chocolate fa flavor that's obviously not as rich as you will find in the cacao powder itself. But again, no, no sugar added. If you're needing a fat bomb, I don't do keto myself, but I know enough about it to, to know a few things. And that is some people do the fat bomb thing and cacao butter is a great way to get that. And of course, you can always sweeten it up with whatever natural type sweetener, whether it be stevia or monk fruit. But mostly the cacao butter I have for making homemade chocolates, which of course is gonna go hand in hand with the cacao powder. Unless I'm making a white chocolate, which I do that too, but only when I'm doing something like making the peppermint patties, which I'll also make a regular chocolate. By the way, I have a whole playlist on chocolate recipes. Instead of linking to all the different ones I'm gonna mention, I'll link to that whole playlist down below. You can choose to add honey or not. 
you can choose to add sugar or you can use sweeteners you can choose to make usually when you do white chocolate it involves using a whole milk powder but i've experimented and bought powdered coconut milk you can find other types of vegan powdered milks that are made from nuts coconuts or whatever just make sure you check the ingredients because sometimes they'll add some unsavory things to those that you probably don't want in your diet but those can be good replacements for the powdered milk when you're talking about making white chocolate so i mentioned the peppermint patties i also do a white chocolate and regular chocolate when i'm making the peanut butter cups or even the peanut butter bark with the white chocolate i'm adding some either peanut butter powder to that or even just straight peanut butter uh, peanut butter powder is great though because that's going to help it set up better so some other ones i've done are like the raspberry cream i've done uh, mocha you know a coffee cream chocolate sometimes i don't use any sugar or honey one of my very first chocolate recipes i chose to make I just basically found a couple of different recipes, came up with my own idea, involved adding no sugar, not even honey, just layering raisins. I think I even have a recipe on this in there, layering a bunch of raisins into a pan, making up the chocolate without any sugar in it, and then pouring it over that and then letting it set. And the raisins gave it enough sweetness. There was no need for honey or sugar of any kind pineapple coconut mango chocolate oh, and the orange cream another one of our favorites again check out that playlist once you go into that link that i'll put for that down below you'll be able to see the whole list of videos and then you can go directly to the ones you want and one of the other videos that's in there is how to make your own homemade chocolate syrup again my own recipe there and then if you're at the time of the year and you still got a lot of zucchini coming in use that or whatever else to make yourself a smoothie out of the zucchini and add the cacao powder that to that so you have a nice chocolate flavored smoothie you can make chocolate pancakes in the morning you can use the cacao powder and the nibs if you want those little pieces in there you can make your own homemade chocolate pudding and this can involve using avocados if you want instead of using a milk base try using avocados i've actually made a chocolate cream pie before using avocados in there and the same will apply to to your pudding it, it will work so anything that you can use to make a pie will make a good pudding and vice versa and then another way to make it vegan if you don't want to do the avocado is when you're making your nut milks of various kinds especially if you're using like a cashew milk when you strain out your nut milk take the pulp add some cacao to it and whatever you want to sweeten it with and you can make a really delicious chocolate pudding just doing that and it's totally vegan and very very healthy for you of course and then you can add it to your various types of sweet bread so if you're making banana bread or zucchini bread throw that cacao in there and that way you can have a chocolate banana bread like i have right here i believe i also made a drizzle with the cacao powder and drizzled it over the top of the chocolate banana bread and that turned out pretty good i've also done it where i've made a caramel sauce and put it over the top but i don't know what happened to the pictures i had of that but boy that was a good one too and no i don't have a video out yet on my caramel sauce because i haven't made it in years but one of these days i'll make it and i'll do a video on it and then another thing i will use the cacao powder in is to make the jet fuel latte so I have a recipe video on this that I will not be in that chocolate playlist. So I'll link to that down below. And uh, this is what I used for after when we first took ourselves off the thyroid medication. I replaced for a time my coffee with the Jet Fueled Latte. Now I'll still have it occasionally, but I kind of got burnt out on it. However, um, some people like it, some people don't. And I understand. It's one of those things that is kind of it's very strong there's nothing sweet about it it's just it's very heavy on the cacao powder but it also has ashwagandha root powder and maca root powder plus i have spices in here like cloves and cinnamon these are all things that you can you can take that recipe and change it however you want to suit you it's just my recipe you can have it completely dairy free which is what i did i just use hot water and mix this in there and i would drink a cup every morning gives you lots of energy is really great for your health all the way around ashwagandha is great for helping with menopause and helping with thyroid issues i recommend you check that video out and just give it a try make a small amount first and see if you're even going to like it and when it comes to making the mixed spice blend that i put in there same thing there go very light-handed on the cayenne pepper i wouldn't follow my recipe in the amount of cayenne pepper 
if you're sensitive to hot stuff or leave the cayenne pepper out. Some people will follow my recipes to a T and say, wow, that's way too hot. So you got to tailor everything to suit you. So whenever you're doing something like that and trying it new, just make a very small amount. That way you can add more whatever to it to make it suit your flavor needs there. What I will do is I will go ahead and link down below for those interested into the brand here. What I like about this brand now is they initially were packaging in the just plastic bags. Now they're putting them in these kind of bags. I don't, I'm not sure if it's mylar. It feels more like a foil, but it's very thick and it, this will last a very long time in this. So I don't have to repackage it. And I love that. So uh, again, I just I do the subscribe and save to save even more and it's already a pretty good price on that So I'll link to that and to the cacao butter and to the cacao nibs that I get And you can check those out and if you don't like to buy from Amazon You can at least check them out on the Amazon site read the reviews on them and whatever other information And then see if you can find it elsewhere either at your local health food store or you can just look up other brands and do some comparisons these this is just the one i've been using for years and have been very happy with it okay well i think that's it again i feel like i'm forgetting something but if you have any other ideas or i know there's many many other ways that you can use cacao powder like making brownies which is something i just don't do for whatever reason muffins and so on so go ahead and share your eyes ideas down below of ways that you can add more cacao to your diet without it having to be unhealthy all right well i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching take care and god bless